Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yashala. Ko Holo Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Chachadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders about the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Zachanan Nawa. Just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, you know, I had done a lesson where we've been talking about, like, you know, the the deaths that happened on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, day after, you know, that Christmas through January 1st, New Year's and all that other crap. There's a lot of crimes, a lot of heinous murders that go down on those days, man. And that's um, all judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, so this particular one, it says um, terrible holiday tragedies. Here are five stories of Christmas time killings. And there's so many of these stories, man. I just pulled a few. Okay, so you got, I'm just going to get straight to it. The Lawson family murders. It says, um, Lawson killed his 12-year-old, 7-year-old daughter near the barn. Then went inside the cabin and shot his wife. He then killed his 17-year-old daughter and blundered his sons, age 4 and 2. He then murdered his 3-month-old daughter. Okay. And it's, it's, like I said, it's a bunch of these stories. I'm just going to go into a few of them. Um... Of course, yeah, you know, a lot of houses got broken broken into. A lot of, um, you know, things were stolen. Of course, you got those, so let's move on. You got this one right here. The man shoots and wounds his parents on Christmas morning in their Long Island mansion. So, you know, he's probably a spoiled-ass uh, Edomite. Probably didn't get what he wanted for Christmas. <laughs> you know, and this, you know, this sounds about Edomite. His 29-year-old son. Shot his 64-year-old mom in the head and his 65-year-old dad in the back. So, yeah, that's sounding about Edomitish right there. But, you know, like I said, it's all judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, this lady right here, looking like an E, it says, um, This smiling woman, a Leslie stabbed boyfriend to death with sword on Christmas Eve. So they went off into this story. She basically was saying that they had took some meth. And that this guy had multiple entities or multiple spirits on him. And she was just trying to free him. You see, as I was reading through that particular um, story. So, and you see her, you know, bugged all out with that big ass smile on her face. You know what I'm saying? You know, that looked like some meth doing. Okay. Um, devastated three-year-old girl's Christmas ruined. <laughs> Heartless thieves. They stole her dog. But this one right here happened. Woman, daughter found murdered in Detroit on Christmas Day. Police looking for a person of interest. And there's a lot of stuff went down last night, man. You know, you can look. And that's city to city. You know what I'm saying? City to city. You can look through any news in any city. And thousands of people were judged, man. So it is what it is with that, man. Uh, so now let me start by getting. Let me see here. Let's go to the Apocrypha real quick. Let's get, um, we already in Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sirach. Let's get chapter 39. Verse, tw verse 28 it says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In a time of destruction, they power off their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So, and Christmas got a, you, you know, they, they tell you, you know, you, you always hear people talking about the Christmas spirit and getting into the Christmas spirit. That Christmas spirit is 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 wicked as hell, man. A lot of wicked stuff goes on, man, around these holidays, man. Yahweh created these spirits for vengeance to appease his wrath. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. So obviously these are, you know, <laughs> these people have done something that offended Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He sends out the spirits to go get them, man. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they power up their force. And appease the wrath of him that made them. You got fire, which you know a lot of houses got burnt down over the weekend. <laughs> you know, I've done a few lessons. I've done a lesson on that. You know, fires, Christmas trees and shit catching on fire. Faulty wiring, all that other little stuff. You got that one. Um, it says, and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents. Serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, 
And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. See? So, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh created spirits that are glad when they get a, um, an assignment, so to speak, to go and kill somebody. And see, hey, hey, that's a dangerous, <laughs> you don't want to be, matter of fact, let me get, um, let's get the book of Hebrews. See, that's what I want there. Yeah, 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So it's a fearful thing, man, to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. That's why it's so important to repent. Because none of us know our time. None, none of us know when we're, we're going to go or how we're going to go, you know. Now, I personally pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for mercy and that I'm able to be here to see his coming, you know. I pray that daily. Now, is that going to happen? I'm not sure, but I have faith, you know, that my prayer is going forth and he hears it. And I'm not going to be double minded about it. So I have total faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, I'm going to be here to see my Lord come through, man, and to, um, you know, handle our enemies, you know, so to speak. So, you know, it's, um, let me get this uh, Romans real quick, because it's high time to awake out of sleep. It's a lot of people, man, you know. <laughs> they got judged yesterday and going to get judged today, going to get judged. I mean, people getting judged every day, but these holidays is just something about them that is just a different type of judgment that goes out. You know, it, it's something for a person to remember for the following year. Like, yeah, last year <laughs> around this time, Christmas tree caught on fire and killed three kids, four kids, you know, because that's didn't happen, man. It happens every year. People don't expect it. You don't wake up and expect these things to happen. That's why, like I said, it's so important to repent. Let's get on Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. That's what these lessons are all about. These lessons are about the kingdom is here, man. It's time to repent. It's high time to awake out of sleep. It's time to, you know, get prepared, man. Don't get caught off guard. Because Jehovah Shai said he's going to come like a thief in the night. And that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to come at night. <laughs> People get robbed in broad daylight. You know what I'm saying? But the thing of it is, is when he says that he's going to come at like a thief, you know, at night, that means that people are going to be caught off guard. They're not going to be aware of what's to come. You see what I'm saying? So that's why it's so important to repent because you, all this energy, this vibration that's going out throughout the earth right now. It's just a lot of destruction, man. And it's only going to get worse. Especially America, Babylon the Great. This place is so damn wicked. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. He's not going to allow this place to continue on flowing with all the wickedness that's going on here, man. But like I said, again, it's, you have to be circumspect. Which let me get that. Um, Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. See, that that, cir that word circumspectly means, you know, to walk carefully, to look around, to circle, you know. <laughs> hey, look around and see what's going on, man. That's why, you know, when Yahweh Shai, he, he was telling the Pharisees and, you know, you know, hey, look, y'all can tell the, the weather. You can, you know, tell the weather and what's going on, what type of day is going to be weather wise. But. You can't see the days and times that we're in, that things are at the end. You see? Hey, we, it's about time to get up out of here, man. For real. So, you know, I just wanted to just bring that out. I didn't want to keep the lesson long. But, of course, like I said, I'm sure whatever, if wherever you're listening to this video at, whatever city you're in, I'm sure you've probably seen things on the news that's done happen in your city in particular. You see? Now, some of these things, you know, they'd be a little bit more heinous, so they'll make, like, national news. But, man, there's stuff going on in every little small town, in every little country bunk, town, city, <laughs> borough, village, wherever, man. It's, it's, it's a lot of judgment that went out yesterday, man, on, on, on people, man. So, like I said, again, a hey, repent. You repent to the Father, Yahweh. That's the true name of the Father in Paleo Hebrew. The true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer. You repent to the Father, Yahweh. His name means, you know, the existing one. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer. <laughs> you know, he exists, the father, Yahweh, 
the Son, He is the Savior or Deliverer. So you repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and Son. You know, we always like to bring that out in these lessons because a lot of people don't know the true name of the Father and Son. See, a lot of people celebrated white Jesus yesterday. That's not the way he looks. He's not a white guy, and his name is not Jesus. The letter J was invented in 1524, about 500 years ago. So they was not calling the Lord Jesus when he walked the earth. So when you see that letter J in the scriptures, you know, <laughs> that's not in Hebrew. You see what I'm saying? The real Hebrew, Paleo-Hebrew name for the father and son is Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. So repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Very important to know because there's no way that you can repent otherwise because you can't repent in the name of Jesus. Because that guy is an idol. Your Yeshua's, your Ahayas, and all that other crap that they be calling the Lord, man. <laughs> no, you know, that, those are not the names of the Father and Son. See, we're living in the last days where he are awakening his, his children to know the true name. That name is back. And, you know, these Edomites, these so-called white people, man, they, the last thing they want for us to know is the true name of our power so we can start back calling on them. They want us to believe that our Lord is a white guy. <laughs> that crap that they beat into us during slavery, man. And that's just not the case. So, you know, I just wanted to just bring that out. Pray that the lesson was edifying. Kormiyashallah.